Hi everyone, welcome to my 17 week update. I'm sorry I've been a little MIA. The holidays were really crazy and I was in Texas with my family and then in Westchester with my husband's family. So I've kind of been all over the place. I brought my computer but it just wasn't really appropriate to like sit around and film and do all that stuff while I'm trying to like do family stuff at the same time. So. But here we are, and ne better late than never, or something. Um, so today I am 17 weeks and 5 days pregnant. Um, I had a scan on last Friday, so not this past Friday, but the Friday before, um, whatever the date that was. And that was an early anatomy scan, and um, two really exciting things happened. First of all, we found out the gender. But more importantly, we found out that the kidneys do have blood flow to them and seem to be functioning the, the way that they're supposed to at that age. Um, one way that you can see that is how much fluid is actually in the like, sac or whatever you want to call it, um, which is awesome. And I can definitely feel this pregnancy compared to my last that my stomach feels more like round and that there's like more fluid in there. At this point with Aria, um, I just, it, it wasn't really that round and you could kind of tell like a lump where the baby was and I think that was due to a lot of different things but it's really nice to kind of, well obviously to know that it seems like everything is going to be okay this time. Um, excuse me. To you know, feel a little bit different with this pregnancy. So anyway, so it's awesome to know that the kidneys seem to be forming the way that they're supposed to. Um, at this point, I'm going back to our specialist every other week. So I'll be back this coming Friday and then, you know, two Fridays after that, probably until the end of January, just to check up on the kidneys up until I'm about like 22, 23 weeks, I think it'll be. And just check up on the kidneys and make sure that they keep on developing the way that they're supposed to and then I think by the end of January we'll know with like a solid yes that they are working and will like continue to work and all that stuff so that's really exciting. The second really exciting part of that appointment was that we were able to find out the gender. Now usually some people have a gender slash anatomy scan later on at around 20 weeks but since we're you know going in so often we were able to see this time which was amazing and we are having a little boy aren't these so cute i'm so obsessed with these little socks um i was in Dallas shopping at the mall with my mom buying like some last minute Christmas presents and stuff and I walked into the Gymboree store at the mall and we had just found out the day before and I just wanted to buy like a little something special so I bought these little socks um, I think they're really really cute um, so yeah I couldn't be happier we have a name as well actually prior to this appointment um, my husband and I decided on a girl name and a boy name. Um, the reason we decided to uh, decide on something so early was because with my last pregnancy, we, we decided to name um, our daughter as well. And I just wanted, in case something went wrong, and we were able to find out the gender, and in case something went wrong, I wanted that baby to have an identity. Um, because, you know, it's already been a part of our life so early, but it looks like luckily this baby is going to survive and, you know, going to make it, I hope, um, which is amazing to think about. <laughs> so in terms of symptoms, I don't think anything has really changed. My skin is terrible, but I think that that's because I kind of like strayed away from my um, Prego skincare routine. When I was in Texas, I basically, uh, I don't think I actually brought anything, so I was using like whatever uh, soap cleanser stuff that like my parents had at their house, and it like really, really freaked out my skin. Um, and it really hasn't been that bad, and I was trying to 
hide it so you guys don't have to look at my face demons that decided to appear onto my face. But um, this is just what's going on right now. It's getting a little bit better since I've been back to my routine. We got back in town yesterday. So between yesterday and today, I've been kind of trying to get it back under control. The thing that, ooh, I'm dropping stuff. The thing that I've been using is Burt's Bees Herbal Blemish Stick. It looks like this, and it is just a little, a little roller ball so you can, you know, attack the areas that are not good. Um, I have a prescription cream from my dermatologist, but I kind of stopped using that one just because it has a lot of chemicals and I'm trying to not let chemicals into my body. And, you know, this one just has, um, I mean, everything's all natural. It's all from plants and stuff, so I feel a little bit better using this one. And from what I can see, it works, um, so that's good. Other symptoms, I think I mentioned this last time, but I am so itchy all the time and not just like in my boobs and my stomach, which is where you kind of expect it to be, but all over my arms and on my legs and you can kind of tell I've been itching so much that I have like gotten bruises in the middle of the night because I've been like scratching without knowing it and I have like little scabs like around my ankle, which is really, really gross. Um, but even now, I like can't, can't can't stop itching, and it's really annoying. And I've been trying not to, but then I just like give in, and I like scratch forever. But I like can't get satisfied by the scratching, so it's just not a good situation. And I've been trying not to do it, and I think it's the worst probably in my legs and my arms. So maybe it doesn't have anything to do with the pregnancy. Maybe it's just that it's like winter and twenty degrees outside. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on with that. But for my stomach and my boobs, I've been trying not to scratch them because I know that can lead to stretch marks. So I've just been trying to put this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Stretch Mark Cream, um, kind of all over that chest stomach area whenever I'm itchy, which has been helping. Another thing that's been helping is... Uh, I got this from my sister for Christmas. Is the I don't even know how to pronounce that name. La Octane uh, Shea Butter. It just comes in a little container like this. Mm. There you go. Uh, and it's just you know really 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 thick and really really moisturizing and really nice on your skin. So that's kind of been helping my itching situation by keeping really moisturized and good. Um, oh, this container, I like dropped it a minute ago so it has a big dent. And so I think that uh, the lid is like busted now, which sucks. It's okay. I'm trying to think if there are any other symptoms that I've been having. Oh, um... When I was at my last appointment, they told me that I have an anterior placenta, which means that the placenta is on the front side of the uterus, so like between, um, you know, the outs. Did that make any sense? It's like on the front side of the uterus. Um, so I haven't really been feeling many kicks or anything up until this point. Um, which I felt really, really early, around 14 or 15 weeks, excuse me again, that's terrible, around 14 or 15 weeks in my last pregnancy, but I think that that was also due to lack of fluid in there and things were just not going right. And realistically, I should be feeling a lot more at this point and maybe even being able to see from the outside, but because the placenta is kind of acting like a pillow on the front, um, the baby is like kicking and hitting that part so you can't really see anything. Um, and my doctor was saying that um, there's a small possibility that the placenta will just um, hang out there and stay there. So mine, I guess, is on like the front bottom side here. And um, as your uterus grows, the placenta will kind of like move and in most cases, it will rotate to the back where it's kind of supposed to be. 
Um, but there's a small chance that either it will stay there or move back and then like back under, which means that you'll have, or I would have placenta previa, I believe it's called, which means that the placenta is actually covering the cervix so that when you go into labor, the placenta is blocking the baby from coming out, which means that then you have to have a cesarean section. Hopefully that does not happen because I do not want a cesarean section. I went through a natural labor last time and it was totally fine. So I hope that, you know, the placenta decides to move along and get where it's supposed to be. Um, so hoping that that happens. What else? What else? So I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I've gotten for the baby, um, not just for myself, but some things that other people have given me for Christmas and whatnot. Um, the first thing is I got, uh, we had like a Secret Santa thing at work and this guy that I work with, um, I had not found out the gender at this point. Um, it was actually the morning before, or the night before we were supposed to go, which is really cool. But I got these two, onesies. Sorry if you can hear my dog freaking out in the backyard. Um, but this is a little chicken onesie which is super cute and you know nice and gender neutral. It has buttons going all the way down. Oh that's not even buttons, it's actually a zipper going all the way down to the legs. Um, so that's really adorable. My dog is having a cow right now. There's this onesie which has little alligators all over it, which I think is super adorable. And it has little button snaps going all the way down onto the leg. And then it has little baby alligators as the feet, which is so adorable. Um, so that was super sweet of him. And then I showed you guys these little socks that I bought. Um, I just wanted to go out and get something that was like boy-ish since um, I hadn't gotten anything since we found out the gender, since we were traveling and all this stuff, so that, those were really cute. For my sister and brother-in-law, I got this Bump to Birthday book, Pregnancy and First Year Journal. This was that. Everything is falling around me. Um, so, you know, it's saying like the different weeks and then you can put in a photo and cravings and if you're having morning sickness and you can put in sonograms and um, it has a little uh, blurb about the baby size and all that stuff. So I think this will be really, really cute um, to go through once the baby's born and maybe a couple years older so he can actually go through and you know, see all the stuff. This is my birth press prep, my birth preferences, uh, uh, first birthday, and um, yeah, I just thought that that was really, really cute and special, and um, yeah, it was, it was it was really really nice of them. I got a really special gift from my grandmother and my aunt who live in Stockholm. Well, they don't live in Stockholm anymore, but they do live in Sweden. They live in the south of Sweden now. Um, so I got, it came in this little thing here, and they actually registered and named a star under Aria's name. And as you guys know, Aria is the baby that we had that was stillborn and passed away last year. Um, so, oh my gosh, I just cried whenever I opened this. I thought it was like the most special thing I'd ever seen. So, it gets like this little write-up and it says, um, the, the coordinates of where to find it. And I actually like downloaded the Google Earth app on my, um, MacBook and was able to find the star. So yeah, so now there is an Aria. Linnea, which is her middle name, star out there that's been named, and it's just really special to know that there's always going to be, um, you know, an aria now and forever, and that other people have also thought about that too, so that was really, really special. So I think that's it for my update. Um, I hope you guys liked 
the way that I did the video this time. I used to have like those still frame photos in the beginning that after a while, like I've done all the poses I can with like trying to be cute. Um, so I decided to do like the bump shot and all that in the beginning and then have that as like a little intro and then do the video. So let me know what you guys think about that. And I guess I will see you guys soon. Bye.